before installing Fun Global Guide on your Windows 11 station, you need to make sure that you have already installed .NET Framework 2.0 as a Windows feature. So for checking it out, you can just type in feature on your search bar, click on the Windows features. And here you can see I have .NET Framework 3.5, which includes 2.0 as well. If by any chance you don't have it on your Windows features, you can go over browser and look for .NET Framework 2 and then you can go ahead here and download and install the package on your system. So for installing Fnuc Global Guide itself, you can go over archive.org and search for Global Guide on the search bar and click on the Compress file I've uploaded on the archive.org. It's gonna take a few minutes to download the full compressed file. So once you've downloaded the RoboGuide compressed file, you can just right click on it and extract it all to install it on your station. It's gonna take a few minutes. So once you've extracted the RoboGuide compress file, you can just open the RoboGuide folder, go over the exit folder here, and click on the setup, click yes, and wait for the installation window to show up. So it's asking for some components to be installed, just click install, and wait for the C++ modules to be installed on your station. So once it's over, click on next here, Yes, looks fine here. So there are a few features here that you can just select and deselect. I usually leave it as the default one over here. You can just choose 50 robot connections over here and then leave these modules as, as they are. And next, so here's the important thing. The Backup folders you might be working on are probably from different versions. So if you only select the Win version 9 here, you won't be able to load the backup backup files from the previous versions on the robot. So just click select all here and then click next. And then it's gonna take a f some time to install all the modules and components. Okay, so once the installation is over, just click on finish and then it's going to show you the latest release file and stuff just close it for now and then go ahead and restart the computer so once you restarted your pc or laptop you just click on robo guide and create a new project to see if the software is working fine uh, it's gonna create a new cell here just click on next you can choose your project name it's going to solve all the work cells at the documents folder i'm just going to proceed with the creation for now if you have a backup file you can just select your backup from here otherwise just go with the default handling pro config and then just click next and then just keep proceeding with the default options here and then finish the, the setup part it's gonna take a few minutes to finish the uh, initialization of the cell so once you get asked for the flange type you can just go with the standard flange here just type one and then click enter it's gonna take a few more seconds to finish the cell initialization here. So here my work cell is almost ready. You just go over here and click on the teach pendant. Bring up the teach pendant menu over here. Uh, just one thing, make sure to remove any 
aspect ratio on your desktop. I'm just going to set it back to 100%. I think mine is, yeah, uses 125%. It's going to cause issues for the robot guy. It's not able to adjust itself. So make sure to put it back into the right resolution and scale. So here, I can just see the robot here and then just for an example, going to reset the robot and then do a basic jog here. As you can see, the robot guide is working fine. So thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any kind of issues or questions, make sure to leave them in the comments.